Strange to say at 5-0, but you know the roller coaster ride this team has had. Penn State won the toss. They deferred to the second half. Michigan will receive. A lot of run-ons, not walk-ons. Refers to them as run-ons, does Bill O'Brien out there on special teams. Sam Thicken to get our day started as Dilio and Northfleet back to return. It takes a bounce at the 21. And this is Drew Dilio. And he gets it out to the 30. The window dressing here to get things going. I formation with Toussaint. And Fitz Toussaint is taken down for a loss by Daquan Jones. Devin Gardner wearing that number 98 Legends jersey of old Tom Harmon facing a second 13. And Gardner on the ground. He gets it out to the 31 where he's taken down by Kyle Bobblitz. You see the career numbers, 21 touchdowns framed against 14 interceptions. John Butler, the defensive coordinator, said that was the key. Make Gardner pass. Well, here's a passing situation. He sprints to the near side. Pressure comes. Gets rid of it. And that was thrown to the outside. Oh! Valley keeps the legs going out to the 36. So here is the 18-year-old quarterback. He's win out. And a good hard-charging run by the junior running back, Zach Zwinak. Second and two. Play action with Hackenberg. And he gets his first pass of the day, complete for a first down. He has a huge upside. Frank Clark on the inside, and Countless has the corner, are going to have to play big. Zwinak forces his way. Second and four. Play action again with time. Wobbly blow, and that is intercepted as it was Jared Wilson coming in underneath it. That was a wobbler. Fitz Toussaint. And good pursuit again. Another tackle for loss. Ball blitz. Loss of four that time. So second and 14. Gardner. Out to the 21-yard line that time, where he finds Jake Butt. Oh! Dangerous throw, and he paid the price. Jordan Lucas! Lucas just sat on it, and Penn State is in prime position. And now this thing's served right up for Hackenberg in the Penn State offense. Zach Zwinak, patiently taking his time and only finding a yard. Empty set here on second and nine for Hackenberg. That is incomplete. You should have time, but you'll have everything zoned off. Plenty of time for Hackenberg. To the end zone, and that's a touchdown. Brandon Felder, Penn State, jumps out in front. Sam Thicken puts it through. Christian Hackenberg, nice way to bounce back. As you see Bill O'Brien say, good way of settling down. You throw the pick, you get a chance, you take advantage. 12-yard touchdown throw to Brandon Felder, his first touchdown catch of the year. It's everything I expected him to be. Dennis Northley here on the return for the Wolverines. He was just tripped up at the 25. Flag comes down. So the holding call backs up Michigan. Ball on the 14-yard line. It's Toussaint. And this time he gets running room. And he does well with a gain of 12.
First down option run by Gardner. Stiff arms his way for a first down run out to the 40-yard line. Gardner pumps once, now takes a shot downfield, and wide open is Funches. Touchdown, Michigan! Amos makes the wrong choice, and it's six quick. Brandon Gibbons' extra point is good. But watch out for Funches. They were watching Funches streak right into the end zone. Big play for the Wolverines. If Bo Wallace plays well, they'll have a legitimate chance to win that game. And Wiles' kick goes. And Christian Hackenberg, a guy who Bill O'Brien says will be making plenty of good throws for years to come here and then cashing a big paycheck back out there for the Nittany Lions. And the pressure getting to him that time as he is thrown down by Big Frank Clark. Second and long run now as Winnack had a reverse course. And he just gains about a yard and a half. Third and ten now. And trying to fight for the yardage was Bill Belton. Yeah, they're going to go for this is a fourth and one as the offense stays on the field at their own 34 and they go for it oh, and Hackenberg never had a chance and you know who was in the middle of it Jake Ryan so Bill O'Brien big gamble fourth down from his own 33 and now Michigan with great field position to get going here Fitz Tucson he was met by Daquan Jones second and nine Play action, a little pressure off the edge, and Gardner will go down all the way back at the 40-yard line. Alonian was the first to get to him. Third and 17. Play clock was counting down as Gardner snapped it. He's going to launch it to the end zone. And just through the hands of Devin Funchess with that 59-yard touchdown. As Michigan will punt away that turnover on downs didn't harm Penn State. It's a good little pooch here. All those injuries they have suffered, they were thinned out. Here's Belton now testing the middle of that Michigan defense. What you really see is the thought process, and he's still in the piece of eliminating things before he chooses the right one. Here's Belton again. Cut back against the grain, did a good job of keeping his balance to the 11. And outstretched effort beyond Allen Robinson. Alex Butterworth to punt away from the three, and it's a low line drive. They got to scatter from that thing. And it does take a Penn State bounce just beyond midfield. So here's Gardner now. And this is where he's dangerous. Devin Gardner. Waits for a block, and that got him an extra 10 yards as he's still dancing his way inside the 40. Pitch to Toussaint. That was well read and coming up. Here goes Gardner again. And let's see if they give him that mark that time. They got their jumbo package in. A big tail of a one all the way out, flanking the left side of that line. And the ball came loose, and Gardner was able to pick it up, but he is taken down right at the line of scrimmage. Here's fourth and one in the middle of that whiteout. And the ball came loose again as there was motion on the right side of the line. He's going to pull to the edge. Offense, number 67, five-yard corner. It remains fourth down. 47-yard attempt for Gibbons. Career long of 52. He is usually solid and steady. As he is right there. A senior from West Palm Beach, Florida. Breaks the tie. 10-7, Michigan. There's 
Geno Lewis trying to give Penn State some good field position here. A kick from Matt Weil has sent a good six yards deep into the end zones earlier in this first quarter. Bill Belton now. And just maybe a yard as he was met by Desmond Morgan. Here's Hackenberg on second and nine. And he's able to find Jesse James. Who will make for a third and one. End of the first quarter. Undefeated Michigan with a field goal lead on the road. The young quarterback for Penn State. Field goal the difference. And here on third and one. Running the ball with Zwinak. He was stopped right at the line of scrimmage at UConn. Butterworth punting away. Udilio, nice kick. He's going to let it go well over his head, and it takes a bounce all the way into the end zone for a touchback. And so they're rolling coverage to each respective receiver. Allen has that streak, 31 straight with a catch. Oh, right in the back. A strange way to keep the streak going. 32 straight games with a catch for Gallon. Here's the run on second and 12, and that just goes for a yard. Stack trips, and now Funches motions out of it to go two by two in this set. Third and 11. They bring pressure right up the middle. Gardner trying to escape it. Now he's going to tuck, run, cuts back, keeps his footing, and somehow gets it. Hey, on third and 11, he gets 12. Here's big Derek Green. 240 pounds, the highly touted prospect. Intercepted. How about this defense? Anthony Zettel. How many times can you say you see a 98 intercepting 98? Here's Hackenberg now. Up top and in. Christian Hackenberg to Jesse James. Seven frame and he went up and took it down. Penn State, two touchdowns with a short field. Both set up by interceptions. Here in the first half against 5-0 Michigan. Yes, that is... So here is Michigan out of the eye formation is Toussaint and once again struggling to find room. Second and ten. Gardner off the option, and he is brought down by Glenn Carson. He read it well. Outstanding. Third and eight here. That's Funches in motion. He is a tough matchup for any defense. Gardner with time downfield, and he gets it incomplete. Oh, was right in the arms of J.U. Chesson. Matt Weil punts away and is muffed and then corralled that time by Vaughn Walker. Let's check in with Reese. Dazio is that guy, and his team has taken on his personality. They are fun to watch. And here is Zach Zwinak, and he gets about two yards that time. So Play action now. Hackenberg trying to extend it, and he threw it a little low into the outside. Two for three. Would have the touchdown pass and a third down to start the game. And he gets the chains moving here. They're going with hurry up, trying to catch Michigan on not lined up. A little bit of up tempo now from Penn State, and Bill Belton gets to the outside off of it and was taken down to the 46 yard line. Now they stick with the tempo. 
And they get it complete. And Robinson makes a man miss for a Penn State first down. One-on-one, -on -one, Hackenberg took adva advantage of him. Greg Madison trying to get those defensive calls in very quickly as Bill Belton just goes for a yard. Second down and nine. Pressure coming. Gets rid of it. Gets it complete to Jesse James. First down, Nittany Lions. Hackenberg leaning on those tight ends now. And this will go for a loss of one. Oja Mudia. It's been Jesse James. It's the tight end position that's been big. Play action now. Oh, and he looked for James again, went through his hands. And was touted for a year and a half as the future of the program. They only bring three against Hackenberg. And he's able to come up with it. Brandon Felder, second of the game. Now there are those moments in a young man's development that just happened, like this first half with three touchdown passes on nine completions. Looking on with a 21-10 lead on top of Michigan as this is fielded by Drew Dilio. And Dilio spurts Drew out Dilio. to the 28. Oh, is it going to be one of those days in our sport here? As Fitz Toussaint only gets a yard. We got Oregon. Toussaint just has eight carries for nine yards. Second and eight. And that time they fill the hole with yet another tackle for loss. Daquan Jones. The third down conversion rate at 54%. But just one of six so far here at Penn State. Gardner steps up and throws a strike. And Devin Funches is turning into such an incredible target for Michigan as they get a first down after that completion to their tight end. And now on the option is Gardner. And they pursue down the line again with Carson. Everybody is helping in against the run. Second and nine. And they go with the inside screen this time, and that never had a chance. They pick up the pressure. And that is incomplete. A flag comes down, as you saw Adrian Amos. Holding. Holding. Defense. Defense. Number 10. 10-yard penalty. Results in an automatic first down. At the 45, Derek Green, the lone back. Gardner, he escapes the pressure for a moment. <laughs> Almost a spectacular effort by C.J. Olanian. Second and ten, design quarterback run. Taken down at the 40, will be third and five. Punches split out wide. Clock was coming down at play clock. Ball is loose. That is a sack, fumble, recovery, Penn State, Daquan Jones. It was C.J. Owanian coming in, and Jones falling on it. Look at the play clock down to zero. That should have been whistled. It should have never happened. And it wasn't. And Owanian with the sack fumble. So Penn State back on offense. Yeah. But he's the one big anchor they have. Second and six. Bill Belton. Will pad leverage to the 39. 6'1, 240. Between the tackles kind of guy. Here's third and two, and it was down near the shoelaces of Adam Brenneman. Again, defense with a stop. And it took a bounce, and it went into the end zone. Let's see if Michigan can come up with something here before the half. 
and this is Chesson. And that's nine yards to J.U. Chesson. Remember, we'll be monitoring that. See if he returns to action. Second and one, and they are stopped at the line of scrimmage as once again Fitz Toussaint struggles. So there's been one big Penn State party on this all-stadium whiteout so far. And once again, Toussaint They're stopped short. at the line of scrimmage. Penn State does have those timeouts. Nice punt. Matt Weil kicks away. Double Valley taken down. And Keeping them in the game and providing opportunity for them to get scores. 21 to 10. Christian Hackenberg. Three touchdown passes in the first half. Back in the studio for the Buick Halftime Report. For the second half of this game. As Penn State will get the ball first to start things off. Christian Hackenberg, the true freshman quarterback, had three touchdown passes in that first half. This could be a scoop and score. Frank Clark, could he? Yes! What a start to the second half for the Wolverines. That's exactly what Michigan needed. They needed a game-changing play, and they got it. Zwinak fumbles, and Clark picks it up, and he's gone. Could you possibly have a better start in need of a second-half comeback than that? 21-17, just 10 seconds in. Here is Gino Lewis. And Lewis is taken down. And it's a whole new game in the second. Zwinak fumbled, and now Bill Belton is the running back. Here is that play action that Maria talked about. Hackenberg. Oh, that was dangerous right on the mid of Frank Clark. Delay handoff on second and ten as Belton fights for maybe two yards that time. When you're moving like this, you have to wait till it shows itself. Pressure comes at Hackenberg as he released it to the outside of Richie Anderson of Styles, and then Johnny Football down there at Ole Miss as your capper here on ESPN. It's Michigan now trying to keep that momentum. They trail 21-10 at the half, but then a scoop and score fumble recovery. And now Devin Gardner reversing field, cutting back and getting nine yards on that run. Second and one. Here's Fitz, and Toussaint It's going to be, looks like he's short, as Carson and Jones. And After the play is over, unsportsmanlike conduct, late conduct, on contact, number 67 offense, 15-yard penalty, it will be third down. That's the redshirt freshman's three-by-one receivers with Toussaint in the backfield for Gardner. And he's taken down again, and it's C.J. Owanian. And from the 22 is Jesse Della Valley. Gerard Wilson. That's how he would coach it. So Penn State did their job defensively, and now Hackenberg, that's off the hands of Richie Anderson. Chop block, offense, number one, 15-yard penalty, repeat first down. So a first and 25 after the penalty. Hackenberg and Belton Good throw. couldn't hold on to it. Florida State and Clemson, the big showdown in the ACC, and game day will get it all started next Saturday morning. And his second and 25, the catch made by Anderson. Now, Hackenberg didn't enroll early. Came in this summer and amazing to think how quickly he has progressed. Oh, and there's a mistake by the young man as Raymond Taylor picks him off. And now a golden opportunity for Michigan.
Gardner pulls it from the gut of Tucson, and he takes off downfield. And Devin Gardner with a good run inside the 10. And now it's first and goal. Here he goes again. And this time he is met just before he got to the five-yard line. Shane Morris, the true freshman, the five-star recruit, into the game. Now, if you're a Penn State defense, you're betting on a run right here. Second and goal, and the true freshman Morris is in the game. It's Tucson. That goes nowhere. It's a tackle for loss. Third and goal as old number 98, new number 98, comes in. Incomplete. Devin Funches, talented kicker, made from 47 earlier. This from 23 to draw to within one. And he just punches it through. So the interception turns into a field goal. Got to forget about the first half and move on. Great start to this second half for the Wolverines. This is a short kick by Weil, fielded by Vaughn Walker. Now let's check in with Reese Davis. So a big win, but at a big price for Missouri. That's a three-yard run by Belton. Play action. Hackenberg, a lot of time, and he gets it complete for a first down to James. Here's Belton testing the right side, able to get an edge on that corner. Get to places Zwinak can't get. Play action. Hackenberg is going to go to Belton out of the backfield. And he gets eight and a half yards that time. And, well, he talked about giving him those checks at the line. Here's second and one. And Belton fights his way for a yard and a half. First down, Hackenberg to pass. And wide open was Allen Robinson coming back to the outside. It's a good-looking drive. As you can see, they cross that green line. The field goal range is Sam Ficken. Oh, he got gobbled up by Jabril Black. So now what was manageable down and distance throughout this drive is third and 14. And here's Belton. And inside the 29-yard line, so within the range, it's 45-yard attempt by Thicken. And this is a nice turnaround story for this young man, Sam Thicken, who really had a tough start to last season. Remember week two was one for five. Great young talent around him. They need him to be the trigger man. Drew Dilio on the return. And Dilio. Here's Gardner. Oh, man. Able to get past that rush, and he connects with Gallon. Jeremy Gallon out to midfield. Gardner again the pass. And that was off the mark in the course of the past year. Second and ten. That ball was batted Picks. at the line of scrimmage. And That's picked. was it picked? Oh, Let's see what they say. They incomplete. say it hit the ground. Incomplete. Flag, Flag comes in. As Adrian Amos. I'm surprised. Pass, inter pass interference. Defense number four. Spot foul. Automatic. First down. First down. Play action. Gardner with time. And he muscled that ball to Jeremy Gallon and it hit the grass. Gallon now to the near side on second and ten. And here goes Gardner. First down, Michigan. Gardner looking for real estate and spinning his way for about three and a half yards. 
as they have to juggle things without one of the top NFL prospects. Second and six. And Gardner, when he makes a decision to go, he's downfield quick. 98 rushing yards. Here's Toussaint now. And he just has not been able to find much. And now, can it be the one-man show of Devin Gardner here, coming up on the final half minute of the third quarter? It can. Jeremy Gallen. Well done by Devin Gardner. And Michigan has taken the lead. What a fantastic series by Devin Gardner. And Michigan has roared back, trailing 21 to 10 at the half. Devin Gardner, Desmond Howard. And that'll go for a touchback. Hackenberg to pass on first down, and Hackenberg goes back to his tight end. Jesse James out to the 30-yard line. But Michigan outscored Penn State 17-3 in that third quarter to regain the lead. Brought back for a touchdown by their defensive end, Frank Clark. And they outscored Penn State 17-3. That's a free play. Flag is down as they run straight ahead. Defense, number 76. That penalty is declined. Came in seventh in the nation in receiving yards. Non-factor so far. And the pressure came on Hackenberg. That's second and ten. And going against the grain is James, and it gets him the first down is Jesse James. A little up-tempo now out of Penn State. This worked earlier, and it works with Bill Belton for 12 yards. This is a better offense with Bill Belton. And this time, able to just pick up a couple of yards. Belton's past you, and then you're on to the next level. They're up at the line with the play clock at 31 and snapping at 29. That was a soft thrown ball with a flag down, but they are able to complete it right at the sticks. And Hackenberg was snapping the ball. First down now, he's going to take a shot for Robinson. Overthrown by about a stride. He had a fourth and one stop earlier tonight. Now he's out there on second and ten. Let's see if he gets after it. Here he comes. And there goes Hackenberg to the end zone and once again overthrows Jesse James. Man-to-man the... -man on the outside. Play clock down to two. They only bring three. And that's all they needed. Pressure came. And Hackenberg tried to get it away, but he's shown great accuracy and distance range. He made a 54-yarder two weeks ago right here at home against Kent State. This from 47 a tie the game. Missed it. And he kept it to the left the whole time. The target stayed, and it was off target. At Beaver Stadium, Joe Tessitore, Matt Millen, and Maria Taylor with you as Michigan is trying to stay unbeaten this year. Three-point lead here at Penn State, and the talented Jeremy Gallen moving the chains, and then costly turnovers for Penn State that Michigan cashed in on. That's how they started this second-half rally as they were trailing by 11 at the half. And now Fitz Toussaint straight up the middle. He only had four yards prior. Play action. Gardner, pressure, spins free somehow, extending the play, and then taken down for just a gain of one. And 107,000 roaring, looking for a third down stop here. You have to get somebody on Devin Gardner. You have to put your eyes on to take care of his legs. And it's complete to Dilio for a first down for Michigan. Here's Gardner again off play action. He's going to launch it to the end zone. And he completes it to Funches for a touchdown. Once again, big play Gardner to Devin Funches. What a weapon Funches has become. 
112 yards receiving for their six foot four, 235 pound tight end. And he can beat you right down the middle. You know, you have Philly and Pittsburgh feeding it. You get it. You'll be in good shape. In the second half with an apparent injury just before the half. And now trying to rally the Nittany Lions is Christian Hackenberg. He had 12 catches last week at Indiana. They go max protection for Hackenberg. And he looks downfield and throws it well out of bounds intended. See the difference in the first half, the second half, the three touchdowns in the first half. The pick here in the second half, just 8 of 18. Third and 10. And that is off the hands of Kyle Carter in a flag. Pass interference, defense, number 48, spot foul, automatic, first down. Now he got his hands up too high. Actually, I think that's a bad call. I don't, I don't like that call at all. I think, uh, I think Morgan, that was pretty good coverage. Gives Penn State a first down. They go back to Belton, and Belton goes nowhere. Tackled for loss by Chris Wormley. Penn State just 64 yards rushing tonight. Second and 14, over the middle and incomplete as Jesse James was covered by Jared Wilson. And Hackenberg has missed on his last six passes. Third and 14. And he connects here. It'll depend on the mark of the ball there to Kyle Carter. And Penn State able to muscle their way over the right side of that line with Bill Belton. Hackenberg gets this complete to Felder. He's looked Felder's way a few times tonight. And there's the strong arm to Allen Robinson. You get a look at the arm talent of the 18-year-old Christian Hackenberg. Trying to cut into this Michigan lead. Delay handoff, Belton. And Belton works his way down, and that sparked the Michigan comeback. Ball start, offense, number 77, five-yard penalty. It remains second down. Second and 11 now. Held on a little long, and finally they got to him. It was Frank Clark, the third and 14 after the sack. Low snap, Hackenberg. He was being pressured. That was Jared Wilson. Now from 43. Little funny action, but the result he wanted. And Penn State is only down a score. That's a good job. Dennis North here. And a good return by Northfleet. You know, they need guys like Geiger. It's Toussaint. And Toussaint was seven and a half. That was Toussaint's longest run of the night, if you can believe that. They have struggled from that tailback position. Second and three. And this time. He's going to get the necessary yardage for the first down. Toussaint getting some work here now. And that time coming up was Jordan Lucas. It's roaring for a defensive stop. Michigan up seven with 4.18 to play. Second and ten. Derek Green, the freshman, had no chance. Penn State coming... And there's a penalty marker down. Pass interference. Defense. Number four. 15 yard penalty. First down. And 
And they go with Derek Green, and once again, that front of Penn State doing their job. Penn State down to two timeouts, second and ten. And just about two and a half yards that time for Fitz Toussaint. Still being booed here by 107,000 in this all-stadium whiteout. Third and seven. And here is Gardner on the ground and advancing the sticks before he is met by Willis. Penn State has exhausted all their timeouts. And a fresh set of downs for Michigan to try to seal the deal. And Fitz Toussaint. Toussaint again. And again, trying to battle past that line of scrimmage, but taking all that play clock down, third and nine. Time. They'll move it back. That's a mistake. They should have snapped the ball. Offense, number 98, five-yard penalty. It remains third down. And third and 14, thinking about clock and distance and range and managing the final minute 42 here. And that green line where you see Tucson tackled, that is the field goal range. And play it safe. And it just goes in for a touchback. Here's Hackenberg on first down. And that was Robinson trying to stretch for it, but he couldn't stay in. All he needs is first downs to move the chains. You'll get in the position to take a shot. You can't take a shot here. After further review, the receiver did get one foot down and completed the catch. It will be a first down Penn State at the 34 and a half yard line. No timeouts. The true freshman quarterback, Hackenberg, looking to tie up this game. Steps up, airs it downfield, and that ball is complete. Brandon Felder, Penn State's in business, folks. Watch out. Clock stops to move the chains, clock it, and live for another down. Oh, what a phenomenal catch by Felder. He's had a few big moments tonight. Here's Hackenberg. He's going to go for it right here. And Robinson comes down with it at the one yard line so much for being patient that is the best that you can see out of Allen Robinson watch this unbelievable hand is down inbounds Allen Robinson he's got it and let me offer this after review the receiver did make a catch inbounds at the half yard line as they sit a yard away, Michigan is not allowed a rush touchdown this season. Here it is, folks. First and goal. Quarterback sneak. The freshman. Touchdown. The ball came loose, but the far official says touchdown, and they're an extra point away. He crossed that line, and the whiteout is rocking. Good job there. Right there, it's a touchdown. That's a good call. You'll never hear 107,000 quieter than the breath right before that PAT. We are tied here at Beaver Stadium. Don't you love it, folks? And now an opportunity for Michigan, who used all their timeouts on that last drive. And here is Dennis Northfleet. And can Northfleet get to the edge? Not a bad return, leaving 21 seconds. He's had such a great night so far. Gardner. Downfield, he goes, and it's caught by Jeremy Gallon. Don't go anywhere, 13 seconds remaining. 13 seconds remain, no timeouts. They clock it here. 
5-0. It's been a roller coaster ride all season long. So why not one little ascent and dip and see which way it goes. Here's Gardner. To the sideline, caught and out, Justice Hayes, and it's right on that field goal range line. Will he have the game winner here in the whiteout at Beaver Stadium? It's just short. 52-yard attempt was straight, but he needed a little more boost. Michigan won. They're going to play defense. Overtime has arrived, and Penn State will be on offense first. Both teams will start from 25. No Belton now, and Belton inside the 20-yard line. Rotated this way. Hackenberg. He is taken down that time by Chris Wormley. That's a big play. By it's a big opportunity for Michigan to slam the door early in this overtime. Here's Hackenberg. And that ball falls to the ground. He was looking for Brandon Felder. But in this from 40. He missed it. Corkscrewed midway. And now Michigan will have a chance. Fits Toussaint. Once again, that front of Penn State, fifth-year senior, will he get his chance here? Second and nine. Toussaint again. And just about a yard that times. Third and seven. And they are going to center it for Brandon Gibbons. So now Michigan will be on offense to begin this second overtime. And Fitz Toussaint is taken down. Put yourself in a position for six. Second and seven. Quick strike to Gallon, and Gallon will have a first down for Michigan. Gardner is taken down for a loss that time by Dion Barnes. Second and 13. They bring four against Gardner. He launches to the five and is batted away at the last second by Mike Hall. Trip stack and now they motion out of it with Funchess. He is such a tough matchup in a spot like this. Let's see if he looks his way. Gardner, he's going to tuck it, run it. And he loses his helmet as he is taken down inside the 10-yard line. Locked to win it in the first overtime. And now just a simple 25-yarder unless the script writers have come up with more zaniness. <laughs> 37-34. Penn State will have their chance. Remember, we are one play away from this game being a Penn State win or a Michigan win as Penn State starts here with Bill Belton when they've gone with the changeup. They stay on the ground with Belton and he is taken down at the line of scrimmage in Hackenberg who had that miraculous drive to force overtime, the 18-year-old now in this pressure spot. It's on Hackenberg completely. Incomplete. He had the top side wide open. To force a third overtime. He's two for four on the night. This from 36. And they can all breathe here in State College.
Next year, they're going to be division rivals. And State first on offense in the third overtime. How about the end around, and it's fumbled! And Michigan's Frank Clark jumps on it. He had the fumble return that sparked the comeback here in the second half as he scored a touchdown, and now... Toussaint, I don't know that he even got back to the line of scrimmage when it comes to special team field goal. Last one was blocked. And this goes to Gallon, and he's right near the sticks at the 15-yard line. Remember, the replay official played such a big role in the reason why we're even in overtime with the acrobatic catches. After Robinson refused, couldn't hold on to. Ruling that the runner was short, third down, is it stands as called. And Fitz Toussaint didn't get there as Daquan Jones kicks a bit of a low ball but if he can get this one up and pure and true Michigan will be 6-0 Mr. Unbelievable can you believe that he misses the 33-yarder, put his team in position, and now overtime number four. Here's Gardner. Can he get around the edge? He just has to throw it away. That was beyond the reach that time. Play clock is counting down. There it goes. Flag is down. And Gardner's going to be well short. With the pressure on, things have gone south for Brandon Gibbons. Can he pull out of it? Officially, the listed as 40. And Michigan takes the lead, 40 to 37. Oh, Reese, is this a fun one? On the injury status of Johnny Manziel, down there at Ole Miss, as you saw him struggling in pain there. As Penn State, field goal sends us to five overtimes, and a turnover wins it for Michigan. Here's Bell. No, he slipped, and he had a hole. On the left side of third down and four. Inside carry, Belton. Can he get there? It's going to depend on the spot here with the game on the line. If Michigan stops them, they win. He got it. Oh, man. Let me tell you something. Here's Hackenberg to the end zone. Oh, through the hands of Allen Robinson. This is on Allen Robinson. That should have been caught. That should have been six. If you're a great player, you make the great play. Second and ten. Keep it on the ground on the inside. And Belton to the 11-yard line. Kid has shown such guts and regulation just to arrive here. Third and eight. Here's the 18-year-old. Look at the time. To the end zone. Incomplete. Flag is down. He was looking at Robinson. Pass interference. Defense. Number 22. Foul occurred in the end zone. The ball is placed at the two-yard line. First down. To stay unbeaten, give themselves a chance. First and goal. Belton to the end. Classic comeback, a thriller in four overtimes, and Devin Gardner can just sit back and watch as the whiteout explodes here at Beaver Stadium. Wow!
in four overtimes. What a thriller. Thanks for being with us. For Maria Taylor and Matt Millen, I'm Joe Tessitore. So long from State College. Let's get you back to the studio.